Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, The Black Access here, and welcome back to another video. I'm going off script for this one, so please bear with me. But you know that this past <sighs> month, actually, I've seen this past game. year, we've gotten a lot of good music so far. Uh, off the top of my head, I can think about the Rick Ross album. Uh, yo, Kendrick about to drop a new album. That, that's really hot, yo. That's really hot. The Hard Part 4, if you ever heard that, go, go check that joint out. But, to, you know, today I might be focusing on uh, Drake's More Life, the playlist. I, I want to say the album, but it's, it's, he calls it a playlist, and I guess it's not all just his music. And even the song I'm focusing on in this video is not his own song. It's, I want to say his name, Sanfa. I want to say that right? Uh, I want to say Sanfa. I don't know how to really say it, but uh, I'm going to say it like that. The song I'm talking about is 4422. I, that song, it's just... The, the melody, yo, the, the little beat, yo, his voice with that joint, it, it's fire, bro. And it's it's one of those songs that I don't know what it means. And I watched a couple of videos, like, on Jeans, uh, or they watched the video on Jeans, and they had a couple of theories on there. And one of the theories that it said on that video was that 44 was the country code for uh, the United Kingdom, or was it Britain? Or, or Britain or the United Kingdom, which is where he's in now. And then you have uh, 22 was the country code for Freetown, Sierra Leone, which is where he's from. And so, me and my roommate, uh, we, we, we were thinking about that, and we, we thought about it, we was just like, you know, that makes a lot of sense, but in context of the lyrics, it's just, there has to be more going on to the song. It just, it couldn't be just that, that's where he, you know, that's where he's from, and uh, that's where he is now, just, it, it, it doesn't make sense with some of the lyrics, like, so what we thought about, we thought about, yo, it's about a girl, as always, and like, here, let me, let, let me break it down for you, like, this is our thought process, okay? So, I would say most guys, they have, even married men, people that are in a relationship now, they're content in their relationship, they love their, they love their uh, significant other. Uh, there's one person who would, I would, I would say for most, for most guys, make them, make them break up or leave just for a chance to be with that other person. And, um, you know, some, sometimes, you know, you're, you're with that, you know, one, that one person that, that drives you like truly insane, you're with that person that you love. Um, that you know, you just crush, you know, like have you you're with that person, so it doesn't matter, you're like you, you won. But there are some guys who they never was able to get that person, so they settled. But you know, they still got that little tug on that person, you know, they, they still want to be with that person, and you know, but that person be playing games, man. That person, like, they drop the little hands, they pick it up for you, so you can kind of you can kind of go there and kind of explore the notion, but then it just leads to a dead end, nothing really happens, you know, you see, you, you know, the type of individual that we're talking about, right? And so, when we, we, we start looking at the song, we start thinking about it, okay. Let's look some of the lyrics in the chorus, okay? 44, 22. You build it up to break it halfway through. Just make the call, 22. But you're just as the same I ever knew. 44, 22. So, see, let me break it down for you line for line what we thought, okay? 44, 22 to say, okay, where he is, that's where he is, and that's where the girl's in. The girl is from his hometown, Sierra Leone. Uh, you build it up to break it halfway through, and that, that idea is that you know how you know you try to you try to get get this person out of your life. You try to um, you know build up these walls, and it's, you know you're halfway through this wall. You think you're you're going to make it. You know you think you're going to finish it. All of a sudden, this person comes back in and just start tearing it back down, and it, it, it leaves you vulnerable. It leaves you hurt, and so you've been wanting them to make the call. That's twenty. You know, twenty two is that, that saying is um, you know just. The girl in Sierra Leone, that's her, 22. So he wants her to make the call. Call him. You know, express emotion. You know, tell me that I'm not doing this, you know, for no reason. Like like he has been this entire time, this entire cycle, you know, since he has known this individual. But it doesn't happen. The next line, but you're just the same as I uh, ever knew. It means that he's done all this. It's just a cycle. It's just a cycle. Like, doesn't matter that you know she broke down his wall she's not gonna call him she's just the same person or you know like I say she just cuz I'm the guy she's just the same person um, and n nothing's really gonna change and he keeps and he says this line throughout the entire song and he has like four other li like I think it's actually eight other lines uh, and I'm, I'm gonna go through them real quick okay so in these eight other lines he says I know I fear trust I know I fear too much on my plate looking up, outer space the pearly gates. So now that, th those last two lines kind of like kind of got me a little bit, which was really trying to figure out what that could mean, what that could mean. Um, the I know I fear trust part. So what we thought when we heard that is the you know you fear the commitment, like you know the second you try to uh, 
trust this person again. This person is just gonna shatter you, break you, and he got built that wall up again, you know? So you, he, he fears that. But he also knows that he fears too much. What if this time is gonna be different? What if, you know, it's just like that, like this insanity from Vosh, you know, these, these people kind of make you go insane. Uh, but it's like, what if, you know, it's, it's gonna be different this time? He's, he fears that, you know, he's kind of fearing too much, and that maybe his too much fear is blocking off what he could actually want. And then, so the next few lines was on my plate looking up Outer Space Pearly Gates. Like I said, we was kind of deciphering this. Uh, what we thought it could mean was like, you know, um, you know, there's, there's a lot that he's dealing with right now. And he's he's kind of turning to God, you know. Outer Space Pearly Gates. That's, I kind of thought that was kind of talking about heaven because, you know, Pearly Gates. So, um, I was just thinking like maybe that's a lot. He's trying to find an answer, you know, but he he, he can't really find it when he's looking up. Because he in the next very, in that very next line, he says, I'm running, but I can't run away. Like, he, he tried to find the answer. Didn't work. So, he's just going to try to run away from the situation. He's going to try to run away from that girl. And, you know, but he can't run away. You know, she, she just... She just pulls them back in that allure, that charm, and you know I'm trying to I'm trying to describe it in a way that I know you I know you feel like I, everybody I don't I, you know I start saying this with guys but I feel with girls too honestly I feel like everybody 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 knows that one person in the entire world that can make them drop everything just like that and they would go you know try to do what they can to please them and make them happy um, you know just just because you know you. You, you, you want to connect with that person that, that person touched you in a way that you know you, you never really connected with anyone else and you you, you crave more of that so in, in, in a sense you know that that's really what I just I just get from this I just I just get that in the last two the last two lines this is one of the most powerful things you know especially you know to me um, you know the you say you change but you never change up and it goes right back to the beginning with that cycle thing. You know, that this person always says that they change, that they're going to be different, that this time will be different. That, you know, and it just talks about this, this notion of hope. But then he ends the song with that line, you never change up. It doesn't matter what you say, because at the end of the day, you never change. Almost like he's reached this point of self-realization that, you know, nothing he says or nothing, you know, that she says is going to make anything change for the better no matter what he wants you know so that's just our theory about what it means uh you know obviously we're not going to know anything until Sanfa comes out and he calls it himself so that's what it's about um but hey that's just our theory and I, hey, I think it's pretty good one i mean when you look about when you look at it you think about it it's kind of something that happens to a lot of people so it's possible that this could be it it's 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 i'm not going to sit here and say that you know it's the best theory out there but out of the ones that I've heard, it makes the most sense. Solo, again, because if again. you think about it, I took the one of the ones that made the most sense before because it's actually true and you can kind of verify it, which was the 44 was, you know, his uh, his home now. And then 22 was when he was born. And you, you look at that, it, it it's nice and all, and it does give you some kind of insight, but it doesn't tell you really anything what anything's about. It doesn't really answer the question of, you know, what does it mean in context of the song? But this right here, this kind of does. Let me know what your thoughts are about it. Uh, this is just something like, this is kind of like a quick video that's just me and my roommate. Because we literally just talked about this today when we listen to the song. It's my personal, personally, it's my favorite uh, song of the album. I can't say that. It's my personal, personally, I can't speak, god damn it. Personally, it is my favorite song on the playlist. And, hey, I just wanted to know what it means. This is a theory. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share this video. Especially if you agree with it, man. Get this theory out there. I want I want to make this video so viral that like Sampa comes himself and says, hey yo, son, you fucking wrong. <laughs> like I want <laughs> Yo, that'll be <laughs> If he comes out and tells me that I'm wrong, at least at least we know. Like at least I know that's just wrong, okay? But until then, I'm gonna believe I'm right. This being a word of black exorcist, and I am out of here.